Uh, welcome to lecture four, uh, video four. In this video, we are demonstrating how to put all that we've learned until now together and create a simple program uh, that will ask the user for a name and then ask for the radius and height and finally print the surface area and volume of the cylinder uh, nicely formatted. So essentially using the dot format method and demonstrating how we should be writing programs. Okay, so as I said, begin with, uh, with your description of the program. And one good way of doing that is to write this in the in, in a string format, right? So one, two, three, five, six, right? So here I'm going to explain uh, what my program does. Uh, for example, this program uh, calculates uh, the area of a cylinder and uh, it, it calculates the area and volume of a cylinder. So area and volume uh, and volume of a cylinder uh, by taking input from the user, right? So let's describe it as much as we can by taking uh, user input, right? And if possible, just, just create a sample run, right? So for example, here I can say a sample run is, and this is how the sample run is going to look like, uh, what is your name? and question mark, and let's say the user entered Uzma, that's my name, and uh, then the program should, should do something like this, Uzma, enter the radius, so let us assume the user entered two, and Uzma, enter the height, and assuming that the user entered 10, this is just showing a sample run, right? So this is how my sample run should look like. And volume is uh, whatever comes out. So let us say this this gives me 125 points. So I already calculated this. Uh, this and surface area is, sorry, is, um, again, I calculated it. This is 150.796. Okay, so this is the entire description. Next step should be the import of, of everything like the libraries and so on, right? So I might need a math module here, so I'm importing math. So that's my step one. Next is the user input, right? So let me uh, run this part. Okay, so this works fine. Let's move forward. Uh, in a variable called name, I'm going to take the user input. So the first is import libraries and then take the user input. So name is going to be input. And based on my sample run here, I have to specify uh, the string here, right? So I'm saying, what is your name? Question mark and a little bit of space, right? And input the radius and height, right? So radius. Uh, is going to be, uh, and, and obviously this is going to be a number and we'll do some calculations. So I'll do a type casting here, which is float, right? And then user input and my message, right? So my message, uh, in my message, I'm using the dot format method. So essentially I want the user and then enter the radius, right? So for the user, I'll use dot format method. So for example, my name is Uzma. So Uzma, enter the radius right and then this is a dot format method so here i'm going to do a dot format and uh, obviously name because i read in the name earlier right and yeah so that's that and similarly height right so that's going to be similar here and so i'm just going to copy this part here okay so that's a little bit of space and this and instead of uh, radius, I'll just say enter the height, right? So that's that's what my sample program is saying and I have, I'm closely following that, right? Now I need to do some computations here because I have to calculate uh, whatever I need, right? So maybe in a comment, I can write here, two, three, four, five, six, and in a comment, I can write here uh, computations, right? So here, uh, let me calculate the surface area and the volume uh, and one way of doing that, obviously there's multiple ways of doing that, but one way of doing that is to calculate a base area and then utilize that in both the surface area and the volume calculation. So that's what I'm going to do here. 
uh, base area equals math.py, right? So I already have that there. So I'm using that times the radius times, uh, so it's radius squared. So let me do a, a power. Uh, so this is going to give me the base area. And then I need to calculate the volume using this. So volume is easy. Uh, volume is base underscore area times height. Right. So this is going to be my volume. And finally, the total surface area. So we have looked at this uh, problem before. I'm not repeating the formulas here. But total surface area is going to be two times the base area that we just calculated above. So base underscore area uh, plus the circular round thing in that um, cylinder, right? So two times radius times height times pi or two pi rh. So maybe I should have written it the other way, but that's fine. The order does not matter. All of them are multiplied. Okay, so this is my surface area. And then finally, I need to get that sentence, this, this output, like volume is this and surface area is this, right? So again, I'm using dot format. You can directly write a print statement, but dot format helps us format this better uh, in a way that it's formatted up to three decimal places. So that's what we are doing here, right? So here I'm going to write my string, which is volume is, and then the curly brackets, right? So this is going to be my volume. Uh, and I'll come back to this and format it. And uh, surface area is, and then this, and then do a dot format, right? So dot format, and obviously the volume variable, right? And then the surface underscore area variable. And let me see, yeah, that's it, right? So then now we want it to be formatted up to three decimal places. So that's what I'm going to do here, uh, dot 3f, right? And then again here, uh, colon and then dot 3f and the order is the same so I don't need to worry about that okay and another thing is save it as a file so let me go and save this and this is let's say area uh, underscore new um, and then save uh, it's also important like remember that your variables should have some reasonable names right so this is also a good practice when as you move forward with your programs so make sure you do that going forward right so this is this and let's execute this now okay i don't want to save the rest of the files it's going to ask me for those but that's fine so what is your name as i said this and then Okay, so here is a, is a quick thing. We forgot the colon, so we might want to go back and, and include those, right? So height is 10. Yeah, so the rest of the stuff is fine. This is a good catch, right? So I wanted this and a little space here and a, a colon and a space here, right? So now this should work fine. Um, okay, so with this, we end this uh, lecture. Thank you.